Uh, my name's Matt Enright. I, uh, I'm a farmer here at Rollsland, Alberta, which is uh, just southeast of Camrose, about half an hour. Uh, on my farm, we're growing wheat, canola, and peas. When the project came up, that they were going to buy the railroad. I became involved because, uh, well, because I wanted to to, to continue to use the, the rail line to load producer cars of wheat. Uh, I figured they saved me about a thousand dollars a car and now I think I'll be doing anywhere 12 to 20 cars a year so it's going to save me a significant amount of money every year just to continue to have the rail line here. We negotiated with CN to purchase the line and so at that time we had to find a, a business structure to, to find some way to, to buy this. The solution we come up with was a, what was called a, a new generation co-op and basically it's a, it's a co-op and you sell shares in it and uh, and it's kind of like a closed co-op, so that so the members that buy into it ha are the people that control it and have the right to use it and to share in the profits, or if there is any. It's it's not always about the dollar. Like it, it's a, it's a way of life. It's uh, the the railroad necessarily don't have to turn a huge profit as long as it sustains itself. It, it's part of the rural fabric out here and. If we lose it, it's gone forever. It's been here since uh, since the area was settled. It's it's just who we are and, and, and what we should be. Um, the communities are having a, a tough enough time. They're they're basically drying up, and and so it, if the railroad line's gone, it's just one less one less source of activity in the in the area. And uh, the grain will still be raised here, of course, but it'll all go by by Super B trucks to, to uh, the concrete elevators on other lines. At the end of the day, that means less less profit for the farmers who raise it, more more money flowing into shareholders of, of uh, corporations that are multinationals. We're, we're not very far removed from the beginning of these towns when the railroad came and there that was the start of the town and uh, I think people can really sense that if the railway goes away that could be the beginning the real beginning of the end for the for the community as well there's a real uh, emotional link to the rail line as, as being the reason why the town is there and if the railroad isn't there you lose the town. You lose the reason for the town being there, other than just for people to live, I guess. But people can live anywhere. You need a reason to keep that community there.